Alright, this is going to be a simple video on how to make jumps in your news article or in your uh, news or arts layout of your magazine. So here I am in this uh, news section I've created. I got my news section header. I've got an article and I've got a second article below it. Um, this article uh, I can tell actually has more text than what is showing because it has the plus sign at the bottom of the box. And if I drag this up, it hides obviously the text. And if I keep dragging down to try to find the end, um, I notice that I still have another paragraph here. So what I want to do is create a jump. And what this does is it means that whatever text is not showing from this text box is going to end up showing up in another text box. But it automatically will update based on what I do. So if I cover up more of this text, I know that it will actually end up being sh showing up on the other text box. So a jump is going to be um, towards the end of the section that I'm in, um, or the back of the magazine, and it's basically going to be a way to continue the article. So what I want to do is I want to go to another page. And in this case, I don't want to do it on just the next page. I want to create another one. So I'll go to Pages. I'm going to create a new blank page. And then what I need to do is create a text box. So the text box is going to be able to allow me to have that text continue into this. So I'm just going to, I see I have my new text box here. I'm going to go right back to the one that I need to have a jump for. And when I click on this one, I notice that there is a little blue arrow coming off the bottom right. And there's also a little blue arrow on the top coming up the left. Um, now in general, what this means is that the top left one wants to go to a text box that's before it and the bottom right wants to go to a text box that comes after it. So I'm generally going to be wanting to do it after it obviously especially in this case because um, I know that my text box, text box is coming later on in the document. So I'm going to click on this blue part and it tells me I need to click on a new text box. So I'm going to scroll down to that new text box that I made and I want it to be this one. Notice I highlighted this. I haven't clicked yet but I, when I highlight it it, it shows up blue because it's telling me I can um, join these together, I can link it. So when I click on it, all of a sudden that text is showing up here. And now if I want to, I can manipulate this text box to be able to include my new paragraph. It lets me. So this one has continued on the next page. So if I go back up here, if I start to close this text box, I'm going to notice that that text that gets hidden is going to show up on the text box that's linked to it. Let's see, it showed up on the bottom here. Okay. Now, the one other piece about jumps that we need to make sure we do is add some signage to let people know that, yes, the article continues somewhere else in the magazine. So I'm going to go back to the bottom of this article where it gets cut off. Let's say it just gets cut off at the end of that paragraph. Um, I'm actually going to create a new text box that's going to have my jump. And for this, it's going to need to be one word or two words that are a tag to tell people wh uh, what article to look for. In this case, I'm just going to say blah, because that's what this whole article is. And move that text box down here. So it's coming at the bottom corner where people are expecting the text to continue. I'm going to make it bold or italics, maybe both. And it's going to say C blah. And then I need to put the page number that it's going to be. So in this case, I'm going to say comma. And I notice that over here it's page four. That obviously was going to change at some point, depending on if I move my text more. But for now, I can say page four. So C blah, page four. That tells people you can continue reading the article there. So I'm going to go down to this so that people know this is the article that I was talking about. This is the blah article. I'm going to add a text box here as well and do the same thing. So in this case, it's just going to say notice I'm putting blah continued from page and this was in this case, I'm seeing that it was page two. So people know where it came from, where they had been reading it before. So now they know where to pick it up. That's how a jump works.
Hope this helps.